sub subdivisions as per current ownership. Four, establishment of land registry. And five, linking to the farmer's registry. These actions will also facilitate credit flow and other agricultural services. Urban land related actions. Land records in urban areas will be digitized with GIS mapping. An IT based system for property record administration, updating and tax administration will be established. These will also facilitate improving the financial position of urban local bodies. Labor related reforms, services to labor, our government will facilitate the provision of a wide array of services to labor, including those for employment and skilling. A comprehensive integration of eShrum portal with other portals will facilitate such one-stop solution. Open architecture databases for the rapidly changing labor market, skill requirements, and available job roles, and a mechanism to connect job aspirants with potential employers and skill providers will be covered in these services. Shram Suvida and Samadhan portal. Shram Suvida and Samadhan portal will be revamped to enhance ease of compliance for industry and trade. Capital and entrepreneurship related reforms, financial sector vision and strategy for meeting financing needs of the economy, our government will bring out a financial sector vision and strategy document to prepare the sector in terms of size, capacity, and skills. This will set the agenda for the next five years and guide the work of the government, regulators, financial institutions, and market participants. Taxonomy for climate finance. We will develop taxonomy for climate finance for enhancing the availability of capital for climate adaptation and mitigation. This will support achievement of the country's climate commitments and green transition. Variable, variable capital company structure. We will seek the required legislative approval for providing an efficient and flexible mode for financing leasing of aircrafts and ships and pooled funds of private equity through a variable company structure. Foreign direct investments and overseas investment. The rules and regulations for foreign direct investment and overseas investments will be simplified to one, facilitate foreign direct investments, two, nudge prioritization, and three, promote opportunities for using Indian rupee.